The outside is just as nice as the inside. I just want to let you guys know it is hotter than a firecracker on the 4th of July. My fat butt is burning up out here. So we're going to kind of make this a little bit quicker today. Um, we'll get to the one piece molded cap in a few minutes here, but Randy, big storage up here on the front. Uh, there is pass through storage up here, Chad. It's all finished off. There's a light inside and this is back to the camping made easy. They even supply us with a table. You know, you're always running out of space on your picnic table. So it's a great place just to have something set something else. And it's always right here in your sprinter and a great little carrying spot for it. Yep. You catch that from the video. That looks great. You know, you can pull that out so that your state park, no, uh, so this is the new new awning systems on these. This is the second generation now. Um, this is this brand is what is this a Lipper brand? It is LCI has built this awning. It's the same guys that build our slide systems and our uh, frames for these trailers. Ah, Even the front phew. jacks and a big bug <laughs> right there. So anyway, great awning. One of the nice features about the Lipper is if there ever is a component failure, this can be brought in manually very easy, where some of the other ones out there cannot. Okay. Um, and then when you mention generation two, we've talked about it on the Dometic awnings, things like that, uh, where we can pitch them. Done. That's as easy as it's as easy pick. as it gets. You know, you don't get any easier than that. So just a super simple operation. Nice. Run it. My four-year-old can run it from the button inside, and it provides some great shade for us out here in the sun. Tinted safety glass and all the windows Absolutely. keeps the fabrics looking nicer on the inside. Yep. Uh, keeps the RV and the UVs down too, so it's going to help us keep these things cool if we're not able to run our air conditioner and things like that. If we're state park camping or at the, the racetrack, as you mentioned. Yep. It's things we can't catch in the video. Fully enclosed, heated underbelly. We've mentioned. Special door on this. The Sprinter is, uses what they call a friction hinge yep. door. It doesn't have a strap on it like a lot of them have. Exactly. There's no T-handle to break off when you pull it. Um, now, Sprinter was the first one in the industry to use this door, and I really like it. It's just a nice way to go. One thing I can tell you, you, you can't catch this from the video. This is the second generation door, too. They've made some changes to it. They've beefed up the door itself. The original ones is putting a little undue stress on the bottom of the door, and they have alleviated that problem, so it's working very well for us. Yep. Three steps in and out. Nice step system. Uh, really easy. This is a hickory, hickory steps on this. They've got the new uh, holes through them. No more sandpaper on there just to collect dirt and things like that. Everything falls right through. We've even got a light underneath so we oh, can cool. light up our stair treads at night so we're not uh, tripping up those stairs when we leave the campfire. <laughs> Big handle, it just hands automatically stuck <laughs> on there. But um, Cool. This is the cable driven slide. Keeps the weight down. They've added a cool feature to it. Boom. We've got our cable TV out here. And put a TV in there. Absolutely. Okay. Let's spot the hook up here as well. Nice. Slide. While we're standing right here, Chad, I want to mention this. They wrap their J-Wrap up to their walls, and this is just a great way to build a camper. Um, there's a lot of other products out there that just put an end cap on it and call it a day. That is nothing but a water catch, and that's going to give us troubles down the road. So Sprinter has seen that problem in the industry, and they're not using it. So back to the build quality of the Sprinter. We've got those aluminum studdings through here. All the way through. Yep, absolutely. Yep, that's a solid wall. It's not hung wall. Not so. going anywhere. So we for got sure. the cool looking rims. I mean, aluminum rims really, I always say, have three features to them. Number one, we've got uh, lightweight, lighter than steel. Number two, we've got some extra air cooling for the brakes. Gives us a lot more cool. And not so much for the brakes. You know, when our brakes heat up, um, that is not a huge problem because brakes do heat up, but we've got wheel bearing grease in there. Yep. And over a period of time, by heating up that wheel bearing grease, it's going to solidify for us. And uh, we don't want that to happen. So keeping more air to the braking system on this, keeping them cooler, it's going to make that wheel bearing grease last a lot longer for and us. Lastly, you just want to impress your neighbors. Ah, that's why. And it look really cool. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> exactly right. Um, I don't outside shower on here um basically hot cold water you want to hose your pets kids wash your hands wash your whatever. hands exactly Absolutely. right yep. after you're cooking this is what sells this floor plan on the outside uh, besides all the other cool stuff um we got three steps in this goes right to the restroom so you don't have to crawl through the trailer all the time you're not walking through the trailer say the kids have gone to bed for the evening or i'm in there taking a nap as i often do when i'm on vacation people are in and out of the bathroom no problem at all right here yep this is something i really like about the sprinter Boom, that wheels itself right around. Really LP cool. Plugs right underneath to the trunk system. No need to bring extra with you. Two burner stove Two out burner here. Stove. Cook the greasy stuff outside. If you're a messy cook like I am, you definitely want me outside cooking. You don't want to clean that mess up after me because you know I don't clean up after myself. Hot cold water in a sink. The sink's got a drain on it. Um, you might be able to catch nah, it. Probably hard to catch it, but it actually has a drain. Some of those don't have drains that we've seen. They don't. All it is is pick up a pan and toss it out. So again, hot and cold running water. We've got lights in there. We've got GFI protected outlet out here. Back to our storage that we were talking about inside, even more of it out here. And that is deep storage too, so it's really nice to see out here in the larger fridge to keep our beverages outside. You got it. I've got a little, uh, little treat for you guys as well. That's a really cool barbecue grill. It's in the front bedroom. We didn't see it in the video, but you can attach the barbecue grill on here. Cooking your uh, eggs in the morning. 
cook your sausage and burgers right on just here. Just whatever you want to do. Keep it outside. Keep the mess down inside. Uh, I don't know if Josh, you can pan in under there. We've got the toy lock underneath. Now in northern Vermont, we don't worry too much about people stealing our stuff, but if you're camping somewhere else out of town or something like that, you're going to leave for the day. You want to lock the kids' bikes up. You've got it right there. It's built into your trailer. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to come home and uh, have something ruin your vacation. You got it all in a nice strutted door, so if it's raining out, sprinkling out, even it's sunny like today, we're <laughs> burning up. Right? My bald head is getting hotter by the minute. Um, we've got plenty of plenty very of covered. thick door as well so we're not cheesing out on here sprinter hasn't tried to cut a corner they've put a very quality door on here it's gonna keep the you know the heat inside the cool inside whatever we're trying to do when it's closed up and it's gonna last a long time for us i love to see it on the sprinter real quickly randy i just want to show them one last thing we got to get a different uh, camera angle i'm going to show them that front cap but i want to thank you for your time today always, always you guys you can reach us uh chad randy everybody here at pizza rv center it's pizza rv.com let's uh i'm going to grab josh i'm going to take him up and show him that one piece fiberglass cap because it's beautiful if you haven't seen it before but thanks for your time today you got it man one piece fiberglass cap on this is really really nice it's solid there's no seams on the front of this it's very aerodynamic as well uh, one of the best parts about it is we've enclosed our propane tanks on this with these two caps here. They just unscrew. we got easy access to our propane bottles. We also have a spot for two batteries with a battery disconnect switch here in the back. Sometimes they build those batteries into our cap system and it's a real pain in the butt to get to. On this it's real easy access. You can make sure your batteries are charged. You can also turn on and off the, uh, the battery disconnect switch and never mind we've got the electric tongue jack on the front. Um, it's just easy easy way of life that's for sure. Um, real quickly, if you want to save tons of money on your next Sprinter or any other product, contact Pizza RV Center. If you think you've got a great price, you, I guarantee you we can change that price for you by calling our dealership or emailing us. You can reach us toll free. We work a lot of hours. We sell a ton of trailers. The Sprinter is my favorite trailer hands down and should be yours as well. Let us know. We'll knock your socks off. And thanks for watching Pizza RV Center, your local internet dealer.